but it does us good sometimes to get happy. Yeah. I mean, some of you Baptists, man, you just you look like you sucked on a sour lemon all the time. You ought to, you got much more than you asked for. Yeah. Yeah. You got plenty yeah. to be happy about today. You ain't yeah. going to hell when you die. Yeah. You got fairly good church family, in my opinion. I think yeah. we're all good people. You got a decent church. God give us a building. He's given us a bunch of young kids. Yeah. We're on the way to a bus ministry. We're on the way to all kind of stuff. You got something to be happy yeah. about. Today. And uh, I'm just as guilty as getting mad or upset with the toils of life. But you know what? At the end of the day, he'd give me much more than I asked for. Amen. If you got your Bibles, let's run to the book of Genesis chapter 42 this morning. Ain't going to be no expository preaching. This is going to be exhortation preaching this morning. Uh, to exhort means to encourage, excite, or give strength. Uh, I'm convinced in the hour which we live in, if anybody needs strength today, it's the body of Christ. Yeah. Uh, we're against the winds of hell and the winds of bad doctrine and the winds of apostasy. I mean, we've got it. I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna pretty it up for you. We in a mess today. Yeah. Uh, but we've got a good, good, like-minded body of believers. Uh, we got some th couple things here I want to preach about this morning. Uh, God did something rather strange to me at the latter end of the message, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But uh, in Genesis 42, we're in this time here of Joseph. Uh, if you don't know this, you're going to now. Joseph is the greatest picture of Christ in the Old Testament. Uh, the similarities between him and Christ are almost um, freaky, for lack of a better word. They're very, very strange how similar they are. And it's not even so much it's strange. We went through this on Wednesday night. God has been trying to tell people all the time that it's always been about Jesus. And it's always going to be about Jesus and uh, that his son was going to come and die for sins. And not only that, when you get saved, he'd give you much more than you ask for. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to read you the first two verses here, then I'm going to jump down to about verse 25. And, and let me be brief here. Joseph's brothers betrayed him and threw him in a pit, and, or they was going to throw him in the pit or did throw him in the pit, but they sold him into slavery. Yep, yep, yep. There's a similarity there yep, in the yep. Lord. And 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 they've 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 wronged him. They've wronged Joseph. They've done him wrong. You and here you can relate. People's done you wrong yes. before. Yeah. Amen. 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 And so here we are. All this time has passed. Joseph has found favor with Pharaoh, and he's sort of running things down in Egypt. And when you get to forty-two verse one, it says, "Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look upon one another?" And he said, "Behold, I have heard." that there is corn in Egypt, get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. See, there's a famine now in the land. Joseph has prepared under Pharaoh's uh, authority, prepared, prepared them for seven years of famine. And I'm going to say this at the onset, there's always going to be famine. Yeah. Yep. There's always going to be famine. We we hear the old saying feast or famine. That's a lot like the Christian life in yeah. a lot of ways. Yeah. We camp meetings a feast. Yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes we go through a dearth. We go through a famine. Yeah. We go through hardships. We go through problems. We've lost some things. We've lost some people. Some of you have, have lost things very near. That's that's the time of famine. Yeah. Amen? Amen. But I want to say this at the onset. I thank God that there's always been and always going to be Corn down in Egypt. Amen. Now some of y'all ain't got that. Egypt's a picture of the world. You and I are in the world. Yeah. 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 That corn, Joseph said, if they get it, it will they, they will live. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. They'll Amen. live. Or Jacob said, we go, go down there and buy that corn that we can live. I'm thankful God made a way down in Egypt where we live yeah. Yeah. Amen. that we can get someone yeah. and give us life. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Because you're going to die today. Yeah. We're all going to die unless we get raptured out of here. You're going to die. Yeah. Now, so here the brothers have come back to Joseph. My, oh, my. I mean, as a preacher, I think about people that's got mad at me through the years. Yeah. And have betrayed me. Then all of a sudden, the man of God's got something they want. Yeah. Help. Yeah. Come with their hand out, their wallet open, or, or, or preacher, our youngins have went to pieces. I know I know, I was mad because you preached about ball games and now it's bit us, but preacher, we need your help. I mean, that sounds kind of familiar. I can relate to that. Yeah. So here they come back to Joseph because they, they don't know it's Joseph, but here they come crawling back and they need something. Verse 25, they come asking for corn, but verse 25, then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and to restore every man's money into his sack. They brought money for the corn. Yep, yep. And Joseph says, fill their sack and put their money back in it. Amen. Anybody got that? Yeah. Yeah. And to give them provision for the way, and thus did he unto them. Not only did he give them the corn they needed and their money back, he also gave them provision for the yeah. journey home. Yep. Amen? Amen? You saved today. He's given you some provisions yeah, for your journey right. home. Yeah. 
And they ladded their asses with the corn and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender for the end, he espied his money. For behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them. And they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God hath done unto us? Now, I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer, but I want to say this about verse 28. I can tell you what the Lord done unto them. Yeah. I can tell you what Lord done unto you. Yeah. He give you much more yeah. than you yeah. asked for. Yeah. I feel something in here this morning, brethren. Amen. Father, I thank you this morning, Lord, for allowing us to come back to your house today, Lord. And I thank you for the, the, the devotion, the Sunday school, uh, Lord, the, the singing, Lord, the young and singing especially, God, that touched my heart. I know I requested that. Uh, but God, you showed up and showed out in the middle of all that. And Father, I prayed this morning and asked that you continue to do what you're doing right now as I pray. Lord, I can feel it in this place. I can feel you trying to do something in the lives of people in here today. And Father, I pray as I try to preach this infallible word, Lord, that you'd just bless our socks off this morning. Lord, you'd exhort us. You'd strengthen us in this wicked hell-filled hour in which we live. Father, Lord, I know that you're, you're coming and taking us home, catching us up into the air. I know it's getting closer and closer and Lord, I'm looking forward to it. But God, if there is one here that's lost this morning, God, I pray you'd save their soul today. Lord, just in case this may be the last time they ever step foot in a church or around a situation where they may hear the gospel, God, I pray they'd come and get saved this morning. And Lord, that they'd be a new creature in Christ that once they get saved like your word promises. And Lord, I pray for the anointing of the Holy Ghost of God over this place. I pray for protection and anointing over the nursing home ministry. And tonight, when we get back to be with Brother Gary, Brother Jeremy and their messages, give them liberty Father Lord I pray everything we do today God that it would glorify your holy name and it would lift your son up and glorify his holy name and Lord that we just shout the house down Lord and be thankful and in all of what you have done among us Lord we love you and praise you and I ask for all of it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by his precious blood Amen and Amen, amen. you're welcome to be seated amen. In the presence of God Almighty this morning. I think Jeremy clarified that. That ain't me. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I know y'all had your fun at youth night or, or lock in and got, got uh, Pope, Pope, Father Shane or Pope Shane. What'd you call it, Dwayne? Yeah, I'm thankful I'm not that dumb. I mean, I like the joke, but people really are that dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I, I, and let me share this. See, I, I try to, I always think, man, I'm going to be nice and preach him a short message. Then I get on Facebook. You know how that works. <laughs> Let, let me show you the, another problem here. Uh, here's an advertisement on Facebook to go to a church service. And if I said the name, you'd know it, but I try to have some coof um, and, and be nice. But they're, they, they're, they're doing what's called a pastor swap. So they've got a few campuses, and that'd be a red flag to me right there if I was going to a church and they had campuses. Yeah. Uh, I'm not in school. I, I'm at church. Amen? Yeah, amen. And, and so they swap between their campuses every, every so often, whatever it is, and bring the pastor from this campus to preach at this church and this and that and the other, which more power to you, whatever. But here's what they say. They say, uh, you come meet this pastor from this campus. He'll be joining us at this church in our Sunday services, and he has a powerful word. Oh now, see, y'all would read over that. Maybe not all of you, but some of you might read over that and think, all right, then. Well, I read that, and I think, man, y'all are stupid. Yep. Yeah. I don't have a powerful word to give you today. I've got the word, and it's yeah, powerful. Yeah. I'm gonna give you God's word, but Shane's sermon, Gary's sermon, Charlie's sermon, Jeremy's sermon—that ain't that. That's not us. That's yeah, not man. our power. We're giving to you. Amen. I'm giving you the word of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, and, and so, in the hour which we live in, I, I, I want to tell you, it's gone to pot. That's right. There ain't a lot to be hopeful for in terms of out here. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Other than hopefully God will keep giving us souls for our labor, there ain't nothing out here that's holding me back, brethren. I could give a flip less about a lot of things anymore. The world's going to burn up. I'm going to try to reach souls for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother Gary exhorted us and encouraged us the, last Sunday to do that. And I, I went down there to do that. And lo and behold, there wasn't a soul at the gas station. You, mm -hmm. The devil counter everything. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll fight everything all the way. But that didn't stop me from sticking. I, I want to see souls saved. Amen. But I don't want to see the people of God get so infatuated and engulfed with this garbage out here that they give up and quit serving God. Amen. And that's what we see in the hour we live in, brethren. 
And I'm here to stop by today to remind you that God gave you much more than you asked for Amen. when you got saved. And I sat down in my study this morning and was thinking about all that God's given me since I got saved. We ain't got time to preach it today. Yeah. I'm going to give you a couple things, two or three things, and we'll go home or we'll go to the nurse at home, and that'll be the end of it. But I, as I preach, if you can, don't, don't distract yourself from what's being said, but just try to recollect what God's given you since you got saved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I know some Baptists act like they ain't got nothing. Yeah. Act like God give them, give them cracker juice and sour lemons to suck on the rest of their life. Yeah. I got bad news for you today. It's good news, but it's bad news for some Baptists I know. You got a lot more than you ever asked for. Amen. Yeah. Now Joseph's the greatest type of Christ in the Old Testament. His brothers, they sell him. He ends up in Egypt running things for Pharaoh. F famine comes. I'm telling tell you, famine's here. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of God and the Word of God out here in the world, it's, it's a famine. You ain't going to find it. You can't even hardly find it in most modern churches anymore. Yeah. And I'll deal with it shortly, but they might have a Bible, but it ain't the book. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Amen? And I'm going to tell you, famine comes, problems come, but I want to exhort you today and strengthen you. And sometimes, like Peter said in his book, in one of his epistles, he said he wanted to stir the people up by way of putting them in remembrance. Yeah. Yeah. It does the people of God good sometimes to get back and have God roll the curtain of memory back and say, look at this. Look what God done here. Yeah. Look what God done there. Look what I give you here. Look at the grace you experienced there. Y'all need to do that from time to time. Amen. You say, why do all these people fall out? Because they forget what God's done for them. That's right. You say, well, they ain't saved. Well, I can't tell you that one way or the other, but I'm telling you this much right now, most people just forget. Yeah. They're like young kids. Yeah. How much you do for your kids and they get an attitude of yeah. ungratefulness yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Adults ain't much different. Yeah. I see people riding their kids all the time for stuff and I've been guilty of it. I'm thinking, well, I ain't no different. Yeah. Hey, man, what do you think they learn it from? Yeah. Yeah. Mom and daddy, hey, amen. Right. <clears throat> I had to get on to one of the youngins back there this morning in nursery. Uh-uh, we ain't going to do that. Amen. 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 You say, which kid was it? I ain't going to tell you because they, they all can act up from time to time. Amen. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you this much. If you ain't going to get on to you kids, I'm going to get on to them. Yeah. Just like I get on to mine. Amen. Amen. I don't know who needed to hear that, but I'm just telling you, I won't tolerate disrespect Amen. from the youngins. Amen. I don't care who's Amen. young it is. Amen. 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 Mine do it. You smack the fire out of them too. Amen. That one and the younger one. Amen. Amen. Now I'm getting way off track. Let me get back into the message because I'm trying to help y'all this morning. And then I bring up your kids and we know that's going to put you in a state of depression. So <laughs> let me just tell you this much this morning. You got much more than you asked for. Yeah, amen. He says in verse 28, what have God done? I done told you what God done. He gave them much more than they asked for. Yeah. They come down there to buy corn and Joseph says, fill their sack up with corn and then put their money back in their purse and give them provision. That's two extra things yeah, yeah. they didn't even ask for. They plan on giving the money, and, and you should pay, right? If, you, if you're getting something, you should. I done told you all that this morning. But I'm just telling you, when it comes to God, you come for something, and 99.9% .9 of the time, He gives you much more right. than you ask for. Amen. Amen. And I, I'm a, I wrote this down about myself. You may be a bad attitude Baptist in here. I can't speak for you or not. But I'm a, I know this much about myself. I came asking for salvation a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, but uh, a little over 10 years ago, I came, I came to the Lord asking for salvation, and He gave me much more than I asked for. Amen. I didn't understand it at the time, yep. but now I get to look back over 10 years and see what all He gave me that I never even asked for. Right. That might be a problem for some people, but for me, that's a blessing. Amen. I'm thankful I didn't have to ask for it. You, you, youngins ought to know that. You don't ask a lot of times for this or that, but mom and dad provide that provision for you to sustain life. Yeah. You're in here with good health today. You probably ain't really asked for it, but God's given it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So I, I want to give you just a couple things here, probably three. But like I said, the end's kind of weird. I don't know why God did that to me, uh, but I'm just going to trust Him today. Amen. I want to say just to me the two biggest things that God gave me when I got saved, and I want you to take it from this point. When you get saved, you're a baby in Christ, so That's you have right. no blessing clue what's going on. Right. Other than you're saved and you ain't going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to say this much. I'm, one of the things he'd give me that I never even asked for was the Spirit of God. Right. Amen. 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 Now see, I, I ain't buying y'all's amens this morning. Here's what I wrote. Y'all ever just stop and get thankful for the Spirit of God that God Amen. has given you? Amen. 
to dwell inside of you. I wrote down a few things about the Spirit of God. In John 14, 26, Jesus calls Him the Comforter, and He said He'll teach you all things. Yeah, yeah amen. amen. I've read that thing a dozen times, but I never noticed that word all. Oh, that's a big deal. He's teaching you all things. Right. He's not just teaching you half the stuff or a quarter of the stuff. He'll teach you all things today. Right. Y'all amen. die on that one? Fox News don't give you all things. That's right. Right. CNN don't teach you all things. Facebook don't teach you all things, but the comforter, the Spirit of God that came and took up residence inside of you, when you got saved, He'll teach you all things. That's right. He said, Preacher, I still don't know a lot of things. That's because He's working on you. Yeah. Or maybe you're lazy. Amen. You don't get to lay around and not do nothing and Him teach you all things. You don't have to seek. Amen. God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him, the Bible says. Amen? Amen. I'm, I'm thankful that one of the things that I never even asked for that I got was the Spirit of God. Amen. John 16, 13, He said, The Spirit will guide you in all truth. Yeah. Y'all ought to run a lap over that one. In a world that won't give you truth. No matter how much news you watch, no matter how much this you listen to, no matter how much of that you listen to, you can't get all the truth except through one thing this right. morning. Yep. Amen? Yeah. Amen? The book and the Spirit of God right. will teach you all truth this morning. Amen. Y'all bunch of dead Baptists today, you've got something ain't nobody else in the world got. That's right. yep. You've got truth. Yep. Amen. They've got lies. We've got truth. A lot of churches have lies, and this one here, you say, Brad, absolutely, we got truth. Amen. It ain't because of me, it ain't because I've got a powerful word, or Jeremy's got a powerful word, or Brother Gary's fixing to bring you a powerful word tonight. It's because we've got a book and a spirit that teaches us all truth this morning. Right. Amen. He said, Well, I don't know about that part, and I don't, well, that's your prophet. You ain't got no faith. Yeah. Or the faith, amount of faith, whatever you want to call it. You lack it a little bit, ain't you, Sonny Boy? Amen. 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 You say, well, Dr. So-and-so said this. Well, Dr. So-and-so will blow it out of his nose. I've got a book and I've got the Spirit of God that will teach me all Amen. truth today. Amen. Amen. While everyone out here is spending billions of dollars of your dollars, mind you, yeah. to figure out what's in outer space, yeah, right. you got a book right here to tell you, all you, tell you more than you care to know about outer space. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Some of y'all didn't catch that. It'll tell you more than you probably care to know. Amen. Yeah. Mm, y'all getting freaked out now, ain't you? We got scientists that, that, that send up monkeys to outer space or what have you with your tax dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'm not going to I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best not to rant over that, but I need them to spend that money on that Amen. fool crap. Yeah. I got a book that tells me everything I need to know about outer space. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You say, well, the science has made great discoveries. I'll give you that in some instances. But most of the time, it's just been a taxing on the, uh, on the people. It's been a burden that we can't bear financially. Yep. Yep. Amen? Amen. Amen? And you know how they get more of it? They come get it from you. Yeah, that's right. To fund something. You, I mean, they teach evolution in a lot of schools. Yeah. Yep. You fund that. That's right. Amen? Amen. I'll, be, I'll, fund this, I'll fund this. Yeah. You ask me, I'll fund them to teach the creation. In the beginning, yeah. God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. And, and the earth was without form, without void. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll teach about the creation of man when God formed man out of the dust and breathed the breath of life through his nostrils. Yeah. Yeah. And then he said, it's not good man should be, a, be alone, but I'll make him a help me. Amen. And he put Adam under a deep sleep, pulled the rib out of his side, and made him a bride. I'll teach that. Yeah. I'll fund that. I'll get behind that all day long. Amen. You start telling me we came from stuff smashing together, monkeys, you've lost my money. Yeah. Yeah. If I had my way about it, you wouldn't spend it teaching that, I can assure you. That's right. Amen? Amen. Yeah. That's how I know God's getting closer and closer yeah. and closer. He about fed up with this thing. Amen? Amen. Amen. Galatians 5, 22 and 23, you can read about the fruit of the Spirit. You get all these good attributes that the Spirit of God will give you. Yeah. Gentleness. Let me Baptist ought to read that. Amen. Yeah. Go quiet. Yeah. Gentleness. There's times I don't want to be so gentle, amen. Yep. amen. Y'all get spiritual on that, but there's times I don't want to be so gentle. Amen. Yeah. amen. Sometimes I want to throat punch somebody. Yeah. Just to be honest. Yeah. You say, not you, you're a pastor. Oh yeah, this pastor. Yeah. Amen. amen. God won't let me, but there's times I like to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I like to freak out. I like to have a real good one, but I know the Spirit of God don't produce that kind of fruit in me. Amen. Right. Right. He produces oftentimes the fruit of sitting down and shut my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 
Now, if it's something worth crying out about, like the Word of God or doctrine, then get up and say something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just because someone bumped into you and rubbed your feelings the wrong way, you, I, I'd ask for that fruit of sit down and shut your mouth. Yeah. 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 And just get peace about that thing. Amen? Yeah. Amen. 1 Corinthians 2.10, the Bible says, The Spirit searcheth all things. Y'all going to die on that one too? You know what that means? Now that I'm saved and the Spirit of God dwells in me, the Spirit searching things for me because I'm not smart enough to do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now some of y'all thought you was real educated in here this morning, but I got, I got bad news for you. You ain't that educated. That's right. Yeah. right. Just like me. Amen. Amen. When it comes to spiritual things, a lot of us ain't got a blessed fire clue what we're talking about. It's just the Spirit of God showing us and searching things and teaching us the mysteries of God. Yeah. Yeah. It don't come from my intellect. I hope y'all get what I'm saying this morning. What you've got has been given to you of God. Amen. It didn't come because you were really good with this or you were already naturally good with that. God might use that in your studying, but where it inevitably comes from is the Spirit of God which searches yeah, all yeah. things. Brother Dwayne, I want to say this about that too, and I know that's not exactly the uh, subject he's dealing with when he says that, but I'm thankful that I got much more than I asked for when the Spirit of God came. The Spirit of God searcheth all things. That means I might be headed a direction and the Spirit of God goes out before me and ponders that thing and tells me whether I need to keep going that direction or not. Yeah. 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 Now you older people ought to be thankful for that. Yeah. That's right. And you young people better learn how to respond to that. Amen. He might go into a, a house. He might go <clears throat> into a room. He might go into a conversation. He might go into a car. He might do something and go out and search that thing out and tell you uh, that's not where you need to be. That's yeah. right. Amen. And some adults have a problem hearing that. Some of us have a problem hearing that. You youngins better learn how to respond to that. Yeah. Yeah. When God says pump the brakes, brother, stomp them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When God says it's time to be done with that or don't go there, don't be here, don't put yourself in that situation, heed to the warning of God. Amen. Heed to the warning of God. Heed to the Spirit of God and say, yes, Lord, I'm just going to listen. Why should I listen to you? Oh, because you searcheth all things. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. How many times you youngins heard something about your mom and daddy no better than you do? Right. How much more the Spirit of God? Yeah, that's right. I can't search all things. I can't look forward into time and tell, tell my daughter here. I can't look forward to time and come back and tell her, hey, don't go to the store tomorrow because I've seen what's going to happen. That's right. But you've got one that dwells inside of you Amen. that can sure turn a light on. Yeah. Say, hey, I wouldn't go hang around that bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. That's right. They're going to be drinking and cussing and snorting dope and doing all kinds of stuff, and it ain't good. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Heed to that young people and old people alike. Heed to that warning of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. I got much more than I asked for, and I didn't know it at the time, but when I got saved, the Spirit of God came in, and we, there's a lot I can say about the Spirit of God, that He come in, and He performed the surgery made without hands, circumcision, cutting away yeah. my yeah. flesh yeah. from my yeah. spirit, and yeah. making me a new creature in Christ. Yeah. That was the yeah. Spirit of God at work in that thing. Yeah. I didn't have no idea. All I knew, Brother Gary, was I wasn't going to hell when I died. Yeah. But little yeah. did I know, He gave me much more than I asked yeah. for. Amen? Yeah. Amen. The Spirit of God came in and dwelt in me and started cleaning house. Amen. You better quit talking like that. You better quit doing that. You better quit looking at that. You better quit doing that. Y'all ought to be thankful. Yeah. Yeah. You say, all you Christians think you're better than everybody else. No, we just got someone dwelling inside of us that gives us enough sense to say, I need to quit doing that stuff. Yeah. You say, you perfect? Absolutely not. I've messed up before. Yeah. Time or 12. Amen. Yeah. And I may mess up again. Yeah. 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 If Shane, if Shane ever gets in the driver's seat, I can tell you this much, Shane's going to mess it up. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. That's why we got to die to that flesh daily. Amen. Yes. But you have a comforter that dwells inside you today. Amen. I didn't preach about him being a comforter. You know what a comfort is to not know I'm to know I'm not going to hell when I die. Amen. You know what a comfort it is to know that God's never going to leave me nor forsake yeah. me. Yeah. You know what a comfort it is to open up this Bible and know that it ain't up to shame in His intellect whether He's going to get something out of it. It's the Spirit of God that Amen. will do something for me. Amen. I think Amen. over there, Paul said also that the Spirit of God can give our uttermost groanings unto God, our prayers that can't be uttered. Yeah. You know what a comfort that is yes. when you hurt anybody in here ever hurt real bad. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you, you're, you're at your wits end and you don't even know what to pray. Mamas and daddies, you might deal with this with your youngins before too long. God, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. I've done all I could do with them. I've done everything I can to point them in the right direction. I, and I don't even know what to ask you to do. The Spirit of God says, I got it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He goes right up to the throne and says, Here, here's what he means, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. He'll get the message across. Yeah. You got that when you got saved. Did you ask for it? I guarantee you. I, I may be wrong, but I just about guarantee you no one in here, when you got saved, you said, Lord, I want you to save me and indwell me with the Holy Ghost and let him teach me. And I guarantee you most people don't ever pray that. Right. You know what your prayer was? God, save me. Yeah. Save me from hell. And guess what? He gives you much more than ask for. Amen. He threw that corn in your purse. And then he stuck a little money for the journey in there. Right. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Right there in the mouth of it, right where you could open it up. You, you, you notice how I said it was right when he opened it right in the mouth of it? Yeah. Ain't, ain't you glad today yeah, that God I just know. stuck it right there where you can freely reach in there and get that thing? You ain't got to shuffle around and dig. I've seen women dig through their purse, and it's an ever loving nightmare. Amen. <laughs> God got a different kind of purse for you today. Yeah. And it's one that when you flip the lid on that thing, what you need is right there in the, right in the top. I mean, yeah, I, I can't tell you how many women they got this weird elbow deal they do, and they hook their wrists in there, and they're digging and shuffling. It's like you don't even know what you're, you don't even know what you got in there. Doesn't seen it too many times. But when you get saved, you get much more than you asked for, and God lays that thing right on the mouth of that person. You just flip that lid open and say, Lord, I don't even know what to pray. The Spirit of God says, here, I got it. You say, Lord, I'm brokenhearted. I'm tired. I'm weary. And the Comforter says, I got you. Amen. 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 Yeah. You didn't ask for it, but he gave it to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm going to say number two, the sword. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 Y'all been saved long enough. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. You ever just stop and thank God and get thankful for the sword, your weapon? Yeah. Yeah. Your Bible, Jeremy dealt with that a little bit in Sunday school this morning. I ain't preached on it in a while, but I'm going to say a thing, a thing or 12 about it here this morning. I'm thankful God give me the sword Amen. of the Spirit. Amen. I'm thankful for that Bible I hold in my lap when I'm sitting in church. That Bible I lay on this pulpit and preach out of every Sunday and every Wednesday. I'm thankful for the sword yeah. of Amen. God today. Yeah. The yeah. infallible 1611 King yeah. James Bible Amen. without Amen. Without spot, without yeah. blemish. Y'all need some yeah. strength in that, Amen. don't you? Amen. Some of y'all getting wore out and weary from your journey. And you got everybody telling you, well, a better translation, a better nothing. Amen. I've got the best. Amen. How are you going to get better than the best? Yeah. Amen. 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 So I, I'm just telling you, stop and get thankful for your sword today. Yeah. 2 Timothy 3.15, the Apostle Paul says, The Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know what that means about your Bible? It makes you wise unto salvation. Yeah. 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 Most people that I know when they got saved, it was under the preaching of the Bible. Yep. Yep. I'm not saying God, God can God can use a gospel track, and He has many a times. I mean, we wouldn't have them if they didn't work. But a lot of times, it's something to do with the scriptures. Yep. Yep. That opens your mind up, makes you wise unto salvation through faith in Christ Jesus, which is what the Apostle Paul pins down so perfectly. Yep. Amen. I'm thankful for it. Yeah. I got Amen. saved. I didn't give a flip less about reading. I could care less about any book. I just wanted to be saved. Yeah. Amen. And then God comes along through a man. And sits one of these down in my lap. Amen. Yeah. And I don't know about y'all, but I hated to read. Yep. Amen. I hated it. Yeah. Preacher handed me that. So you need to read that Bible. I said, I don't like reading. I said, Here, here's what I said arrogantly. God should have slapped me upside the head. I guess he did in a, in a sense, because here I am now, and I, I just can't get enough of reading. But I said, if God wants me to read that book, he's going to have to do something supernatural in this old boy, because I can't stand reading. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. I wasn't asking for it. But he gave it to me. Yeah. yeah. I was asking for anything else but that. I started out listening to the Bible on audio. Yep. Yep. Some of you probably do that, and, and it's good for you while you're working. Sean's asked me about it. If you're driving or something, and you obviously don't need to hold a book and read it while you're going down the road. That's right. <laughs> Listen to something. Amen. But you need to find some time. And I told him, I said, I would find some time to sit down with that book and open it up and read that thing. Amen. Yeah. It's a lost art in our, 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 our world today, reading. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And I know there's plenty of bad out there you can read, but there's plenty of good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If you ain't got nothing else you think you need to read, you can read this. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? I'm thankful for the sword. You realize the sword, that's your weapon. Yeah. That's what you fight with. Amen? Amen. Yeah. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Everybody ought to be familiar with this. Paul says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, Correction and instruction in righteousness. Amen. It's profitable. Yeah. yeah. For you. In a world where everybody's worried about me, 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 you think that gets some things down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a King James Bible. Amen. 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 You know what he says in 17? We always quote 16, but he says that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Amen. You have a reason you need to pick up that Bible. Yeah. yeah. For you to be furnished to good works. 
I've, 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 you may think this is crazy, but a lot of times I can tell if people's reading their Bible or not by the way they're acting. Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing bad works, it's a good chance you ain't reading your Bible. Amen. You got a bad attitude and a hateful spirit about you, there's a good chance you ain't picked up that book in a while. Yeah. Not all the times, but a lot of times. Yeah. Yep. Amen? Amen. Because I know what the Bible says, you'll be thoroughly furnished unto all good works if you study. That's what that scripture is for. Amen. Doctrine, reproof, correction, instructions and right instruction and righteousness. Because God wants you to be perfect and thoroughly furnished in all good works. Amen. Yeah. So you you forsake the book, then you, you got a problem. I got saved, I got much more than I asked for. Amen. Amen. God laid no black back sixteen eleven. I, I had a, I, I had a new King James when I got saved, which that's what I carried around as a lost person. <clears throat> Somebody amen that. Yeah. Before I got saved, I carried around a new King James. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Then I got saved. Yeah. I picked up King James. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Preacher said, I, I, I just, um, you, you do what you want. He said, but my advice is to read a King James Bible. Amen. I said, well, that's weird. So I got one and started reading it. I thought, man, I feel, this feels a lot different when I read it. I know Amen. we don't operate off feeling, but you can tell when God's in something. Yeah, yeah. And what his words was to me was he said, when I read, when I've read other versions, I just feel like I'm reading a book. When I read that, I feel like it's alive. Amen. And sure enough, soon enough, I found out that he wasn't lying about that. Yeah. Amen. Because it's a lie. That's right. You've got a weapon today that's alive. That's Amen. Right. You got a book yeah. today that has life in it. Yeah. Amen. 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 You you got much more than you asked for because God doesn't give you a sixteen eleven. Yeah. He says in Matthew four four, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. Jesus is physically hungered there. Yep. Amen. Amen. And he tells the devil, he says, man, don't need to live by bread alone, but by every word. You know, that tells me that book is food for you spiritually. Amen. That book helps sustain you. How many in here, you ain't got to raise your hand, but how many in here have had a, had a wild week or something and you didn't get to read your Bible like you, you usually do and you can feel a difference in your spirit? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Look, I can tell you, me, I'm more, I'm more irritable, yeah. more yeah. agitated, I'm yeah. more quick to get mad. Yeah. And then you sit down and you open up those beautiful words, those wonderful words of life. Amen. And you feel God just say, there you are, that's where you're supposed to be. Amen. Why? Amen. Why? Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. Amen. Now you're in trouble if we don't have an accurate Bible. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. you're supposed to live by every word, not some of the words. That's right. That's right. Not just some of the Hebrew and some of the Greek and whatever parts they got right. Amen. How are you going to live by all the words if you ain't got them? <coughs> I got them. Amen. Amen. If you're holding the same book today, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. You say, well, Dr. So... Shut up. Amen. Dr. So-and-so is an idiot. Yeah. John 6, 63, Jesus said the words, I speak, they are spirit, and they are life. Amen. Y'all getting it today? Yeah. You didn't come up here asking for God to save you and indwell you with the Spirit of God and give you a 1611 King James Bible. You come up here and ask Him to save your soul. Yeah. Right. Amen. And He give you much more. Right. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm fearful today that some of us have forgotten this. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I, mean, I can put something in about the congregation. I can think back to the time when there wasn't a blessed fire hurt to anybody here. Yeah. Yeah. And I look around on, on Sundays and Wednesdays, I catch myself doing that and be like, man, where did all these people come Amen. from? Amen. Amen. God give me much more than I asked for. Amen. I said, Lord, I'll preach. I'll start a church. Me and a few other guys will start it. I'll do whatever you want me to do. And then I look around and give me much more than I asked Amen. for. Amen. Sitting in here during lock-in, man, I looked around at these kids singing and having a good time, and, and they sang that song, and I'm sitting there thinking, that song is truth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Look at these youngins up here singing, praising the Lord. Most of them know them songs like the back of their hand, yeah. man. Yeah. And the rest of the world out here, the youngins are learning about God-forsaken, filthy, yeah. trash, yeah. stuff it. that's going to send them to hell. Yeah. Come on. Get out of there. Yeah. Come on. And that ought to burden you to go witness, but it ought to get you to shout the house down yeah, amen. for what God's doing in here. Yeah. I say, well, I don't like my church. You ought to, man, you ought to get slapped upside your head. You look at these youngins and have something to complain about your church. Amen. Well, so-and-so looked at me funny. It was probably because you're funny looking. Amen. 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 Suck it up, buttercup. Amen. Give about the work of God. Yeah, and look amen. around what God has done. Yeah. And be thankful for what God is doing. Quit looking at everybody else and what they're doing amen. and what they're not doing. And how they said this and it upset you. Quit looking at all that for a minute. Wait through all the baloney and look at what God has done. He's given us much more than we asked for. Amen. amen. The devil's the one who wants you to look at everything That's wrong, right. negative, and bad all the time. Yeah. yeah. They don't come from God. God ain't, God ain't give you that ministry. Right. Amen. 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 
I say that because my Uncle Tiny had some people come to him one time that were causing some problems in the church, and they said, well, that's actually what God's called us to do, is to go around at churches and find what's wrong with them and point it out. Yeah, you're a liar. Yeah. The devil's called you to that that's ministry. Right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I, don't, I don't go sit in churches that I know are wrong and point out everything that's wrong. I'll just tell you what's wrong from this pulpit. We deal with it here, so you ain't got to go Amen. fall into it. Yeah. Yep. Right. Amen. Amen. They want to know, I'll tell them. But I ain't going to go. I, God ain't called me to that, and He ain't called you to that. That's, That's right. right. God's called me to stop and think that He's given me much more than I asked for. Amen. Amen. I mean, come on, brethren. God's been good to us. Yeah. Amen. You ain't going to hell when you die, are you? Amen. Amen. I'll deal with that here in just a second. Let me, let me give you one, one more. We know this one back in Hebrews. I'm going to turn there because. Uh, I want to give you the whole thing here. Uh, quoted this many a times. You ought to know a lot of this. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. <clears throat> For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even under the dividing asunder of soul and spirit of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Yeah. I didn't ask for that when I got saved. That's right. yep. God just came by one day and threw it right in my lap. Yep. Yep. And then sometime later, he come by and threw in my lap the need and the urgency to make people aware of the modern perversions and how they're affecting the church, how they're leading us into apostasy and all this stuff. Yeah. You get all these people that come by and they may hear us say something about it and they think, well, I don't know why they waste their time with that because it's worth wasting your time Amen. about. Amen. It's worth it. It's not a hobby horse. It's something to stand up and fight for today. Amen. 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 People would rather sit and fight amongst themselves in churches today. I ain't got time for that. Amen. I'd rather stand up and fight for the Bible. Fight for souls. Amen? Amen. Amen. Not because Jeremy stuttered five too many times in his sermon. I give a flip less. He's up here doing it, ain't he? Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 He's up here doing it, ain't he? Yeah. Amen. Jeremy, no one's told me anything. That just came off my cuff, man. He'll be stopping me after church asking me nothing. Who's me? Who's There you go. I'm going to give you one more. And, and weird, I said I don't understand why God did this. But I'm dealing with the fact that when I got saved, God gave me much more than I asked for. Yep. But I don't want to skip the fact that he saved me. Amen. Amen. I said, Lord, I'm trying to give him stuff. Now, I don't know if Brother Gary does this. Sometimes I try to act like I need to pin those notes down or pin down what needs to be said. And I try to argue with the Lord a little bit. So, Lord, that ain't the way this sermon's laid out. And he said, this, this ain't your sermon. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Spirit, the sword. And there's so many more I could have given you, but he just brought me back right here to this one. Salvation. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I mean... Yeah, he gave me much more than I asked for when I got saved. But I never, I never grew up wanting to be saved. Right. Oh, yeah. But he came along and dealt with my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The Spirit of God convicted my heart and said, Hey, boy, you need to get saved. You're heading for hell. You're about to fry. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There ain't no one going to live and carry on like yeah. you have and get yeah. away with it. Amen. You got a man waiting one day you're going to give an account to for all that filth yeah. you did all yeah. your life. Amen. Yeah. And he come by and he convicted me and dealt me with me. You know, he dealt me through the preaching of the Bible, Amen. the preaching of the Amen. Word of God, the preaching of the Word of God. Amen. I'm going to say it one more time, the preaching of the Word of God. Amen. The I just don't think we need to go to church all the time. You tell that to a man like me that got saved in a church, Amen. we don't have a problem. Yeah. You want to go forsake the assembly? You want to be a lazy bum the rest of your life? Go do it. But don't infect everybody else That's around right. you. Amen. That, that crap. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. A preacher, I just don't feel like getting lying. I don't feel like it half the time. Yeah, amen. I felt kind of like crap, honestly. The lock in didn't feel real good. Laid around all day yesterday, didn't feel very good. I don't know what else to do but get them to the house of God. Amen. If I get you sick, you pray a curse over me. I don't know what to tell you. That's right. Amen. amen. Don't shake my hand and don't come my direction. If that bothers you, stay away from me. Amen. But I ain't going to lay at home and feel amen. like crap. I'd rather come to the house and feel like yeah. crap. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. There ain't nothing in the world more important than getting in your Bible and getting in the house of God and Amen. learning about God. Yeah. Get so sick of people's blabbering all the time. Well, I had this to do and I had to get in line, man. Yeah. Yeah. Get in line. We try yeah. to build a church. You in or you out? Amen. Amen. If you in, get in. If you out, get out. Amen. You say, well, that ain't very compassionate. No, I'm trying to keep you from wasting your time. Yeah, That's right. Right. If you ain't going to be about the Father's business, go get about the other Father's That's business. Right. Yeah. Go, go do what you need to do out there. Otherwise, get in here and get faithful. And if you're if I'm not here because I'm sick, you know I'm bad sick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm throwing up feet Amen. or something. Yeah. Amen. Don't, don't, I got bad news for you. You better, sometimes I've been known to come with a fever. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I won't get around people, but I've been known to do it. If Amen. I don't just feel like I've been ran over by a semi truck, I'm coming to the house of God. Amen. 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 So, preacher, I got more to do than you. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. He Amen. saved you. Right. Yeah. He saved you. That's yeah. right. Amen. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. Amen. You know where I'm headed? 
Present your body as a living sacrifice. Amen. You know how I can tell modern Christianity is all screwed up and not worth nothing? Because ain't nobody willing to sacrifice That's nothing right. for you. Yeah. Right. Serving God should cost you something. Yep. Yeah. It should cost you something. Yeah. Not just money, it should cost you time, your precious yep. time. Yep. Your time that, that you say, Well, I just this is my time and I need this time. Where do you think you got that time from, Crazy? Yeah. God gave you that time. Yeah. Right. And you're gonna throw him on the back burner? Yeah. Nope. I don't even got this in my notes, but I thought about this. What if, what have you ever sacrificed for the Lord? Yeah. Nope. Honestly. I think about it myself, and there's times I have to be ashamed. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Amen. 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 Y'all dying on that one, but you be all right. What if, stop asking yourself, what am I sacrifice? Paul said I'm to be a living sacrifice. What am I sac am I a sacrificial person? Or is or and let me tell you, most people are when it comes to their plans and what they want to do, they'll cancel church every time to do what they want to do. Yeah. 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 Then when it's time to give God what's his, they'll cancel God every time and stick with what's the world. Right. Yeah. Every time. Yep. Yeah. Blows my mind. And then she'll preach, and I just don't know why I'm going through this in my life, and why God ain't. I can tell you why. Exactly. You're not a living sacrifice. Amen. You're about yourself and what yep. you want. And if you feel like it, and I've told you all a hundred times, if you're doing this because whether you feel like it or not, you might as well get out. That's yep. right. Yep. Because you ain't going to feel like it 90% of the time. Amen. Yep. It's almost like we've indoctrinated a generation of cowards. Yeah. 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 Sissified, panty waist, little right. limp wristed fairies. Yeah. That, oh, I don't feel like it or I'm too tired. Get up, man. Amen. Get up. I'm fat, out of shape, all kind of stuff. I'm tired. I wake up tired, Brother Gary. You know that. We wake up tired. Amen. 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 Does that mean God ain't worthy of us to get up and get dressed? And come into the house of God and sing and Amen. praise His name Amen. and listen to preaching yep. and get. I've never been to church and it just destroyed my life. It always helped me. Amen. 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 You say, "Well, preach." He gave you salvation. Amen. Yep. He saved you. You ever just stop and ask yourself, "Why am I sitting in church?" This is my last point. Why am I sitting in church? I got two two things there for you. If you're saved, you're here because you've been saved. That's yeah. right. Amen. And if you're not saved, you're here because you because of your need of salvation. Yeah. Yeah. You say, oh, no, mom and daddy drugged me. Well, that's still God putting you in a place because yeah. you're in need of salvation. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's doing what you call using your mom and daddy to get you there yeah. so you can hear the gospel. Yeah. 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 And if you're an adult and you're here and you're not saved, that's just God moving the pieces around. That's yeah. right. That's right. I'm not a Calvinist, but God does work things out. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. Amen. Amen. You got free will, and if you use your free will to decide to come to church, you can rest sure God moves some things around. That's right. Amen. 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 He made it. He he stopped that car wreck so you could get here today. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I believe in that kind of sovereignty. Amen. I'm not a Calvinist, but I believe in that kind of sovereignty. God, God, God may have pushed that 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 red light or something. Did something to get if you if you got up and said I'm going to church today and you're lost. I can assure you, God moved some pieces around. Yeah. 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 Amen. Anything about to come your way, any His will that any perish, you going to tell me I'm wrong? If you're going to get yourself and assemble in yourself in a place where you might hear the gospel and you might get saved, yep. God's going to make sure you get there if you've made up your mind That's to get right. there. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now, I'm not saying that maybe it's the last chance you had and you, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't in God's mind in that direction. But I'm telling you, if you're here and you're not saved, you're here because of your need of salvation. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And if you're here and you're lost, this is for the adults. Kids probably don't register like this yet. Well, preacher, I'm here, so maybe God will add it to my good pile. Don't work that way. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I've covered that time and time and time again, but some people, man, just blow your mind. you got to repeat it over and over. Yep. It'll work that way. Amen. You know what I thought about, Brother Jeremy? It never really occurred to me until this morning. Actually, it counts against you. Yeah. Yeah. Going to church all the time and never getting saved? Yeah. You say, well, how do you figure? Because when you're at the great white throne judgment, you don't. You don't even remotely get to say, "Well, I never heard, Lord. I never knew." That's right. That's yeah. right. Yep. See how you're building the evidence against yep. you. Yeah. Or it says, well, "Wait a minute. You got up that one Sunday and you went to Little Sock Baptist, and I know the preacher wasn't real good, but he did preach, and you need a salvation. You need to believe in the Lord yep. Jesus Christ, yep. and thou yep. shall be saved." Yep. Don't give me that river more. Right. You didn't know about That's it. Right. Yeah, amen. See, you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. That's the more right. you come here unsaved, try to add it to your good pile. No, it's actually going in a bad pile. Yeah. Because yeah. God give you grace and mercy and over and over and chance after chance after chance after chance to get that thing right today. Amen. Yeah. You say, when, preacher? Right now. Amen. Amen. Right now. You yeah. can say right now. Amen. No questions asked. You come down here and God will save you and make you a new creature yes. in Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I'm going to say this again. He'll give you much more yeah. than you ask for. Amen. 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 I think I got one illustration for you and I'll be done. I had Ellis 
Me and you's gonna fight when I see you again because I had your name pinned down here for this illustration. You're not here, but if you're sick, make you feel better. I, I use Charlie then. Charlie, you're second place to Ellis if you ever wonder. Then, <laughs> <coughs> Charlie, here's Charlie. He's driving down the road, right? You better take my notes. I don't have that good of a memory. <laughs> here's Charlie driving down the road. And he looks down and he sees his gas gauge is on empty. Yep. Jeremy knows that life all too well. <laughs> Never seen a man throw five dollars in here, five there, and you know, whatever. Hey man. <clears throat> he looks over, he sees his gas, his gas gauge is on empty. He's fixing to run out of gas. Yep. Unless his gauge is broke, but we're, we're it's hypothetical. His gauge ain't broke, it's a brand new car. Hey man. Amen. Amen. He looks over and sees it's empty. He pulls in, and here's what he does. He listens, listens to the gas pump, puts his ear up to it. You know that that gas pump speaks. Did you know that? Y'all think I'm crazy. <laughs> That gas pump sits there and it says, I can fill your car up. Yeah. Yep. You just reach in here and you stick your money in there, which you ain't got to, don't, don't use that part. You ain't got to spend money to get saved. But you, you put, you, you, you just do what you got to do. Turn, turn the thing on, stick me in the gas jug, nozzle hole, whatever it's called. I'm not a mechanic. And squeeze the trigger and I'll fill your car up. And you won't be out of gas no more. Yeah. Amen. But here Charlie pulls in and he just sits there with his ear next to it with it telling him that. There's a lot of people I've met, brethren. Yeah. A lot of people I've met, they sit there and just listening to it. And, 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 and you're, you're, you're in the gas station right now. Everybody get what I'm saying? Yeah. I may, I, may have, I may have just thrown people, what is he talking about? Charlie, sit at the gas station next to the thing that can fill his tank up. Yeah. Amen. He's got a problem, he ain't got no gas. Amen. Yeah. I almost said it like sling blade, but I'll be nice this morning. Yes. He ain't got no gas in it. Amen. And he sits there next to the thing that can put gas in the car and thus fix his problem. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You're here today and you're lost. You're in the gas station. Yeah. 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 Amen. You're, you're at it. I'm, I'm trying to introduce you to a man that can not only fill your tank up, but make it so it never runs dry again. Right. Yeah. I think he told the woman, if you drink of the water I'll give you, you'll never thirst again. Amen. 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 Yeah. I'm talking about a man that can fill your tank up, top you off, and may even have a reserve jug he throws in the back because he gives you much more than you ask for. Right. And I'm going to say today, and I'm going to testify, and I'm about to get real, real happy right now. God give me more than I ever asked for. Yeah. I come down and I got saved. He gave me the Spirit of God. He gave me a Bible. He gave me a church. He gave me a great group of people. We ain't perfect. Sometimes we annoy each other, but you're still a great group of people. Right. And I want to be thankful for that, and I want to be the first to say that God gave me more than I asked for. Yeah. 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 I don't want to just sing that song and it just be a song we sing. Yeah. Yeah. I want it to mean something. Amen. Amen. And it means something to me. It really hit me in, at youth at uh, the lock-in. It really hit me. Yeah. The kids are singing that and I look around and say, look what he give you. Yeah. 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 He never asked for all this. Brother Gary, matter of fact, when I got saved, I never dreamed in a million years I'd be preaching. That's the last thing I want to do. I like to entertain people. And I like to be, you know, try to joke and make everyone laugh and this and that. But I can tell you right now, I didn't want to get up and try to preach the ways of God. Amen. Yeah. Now I'd rather sit out there and eat. Yeah. Amen. Can't tell. I do. I, that's more my wheelhouse to sit and just eat. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I got saved. I didn't ask for none of this. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not grudging. I'm not mad about it one bit. I'm thankful. Amen. 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 There's been times when I probably thought I was mad and I was grudging and said, God, you're the one that called me this. Why are you putting me through this? Then I look around and some of these kids get up and they're singing. Amen. Amen. And they're singing. Yeah. And then they're singing, and they get up, and they might, you know, share a little devotion or something in their youth, their, their youth group, or whatever it is. And I thank God you give me way much more than I ever even could have asked for. Amen. You know why? Because He searches all things. Right. He went ahead in the time and said, "You're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and we're going to do this. All you got to do is be a living sacrifice." Amen. Here's here's where I want to end right now. Whoever's singing, make your way up here. I want to deal with that last one. Are you even saved today? Amen. I don't know why, but the Lord has burdened me with that the last two Sundays. You said, Preacher, this is all our normal people. Everyone here, I mean, it's kind of the same people. We ain't got no visitors here. That don't mean jack squat to me. That's right. That's right. Don't mean nothing to me. Amen. We've had people sitting in this church for a while. Sean Cindy testified. They were going for a little while before they got saved. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. So don't give me that. Well, Preacher, these the same people that's always here. That don't mean nothing. Amen. Don't mean a blessed fire thing. That's preacher. Pastors that have gotten saved. That's pastored for 20 years. Yep. Yeah. Do you know you're saved today? Amen. Because I'm telling you right now, if you ain't, I'd come and get much more than I ever asked for. Amen. Amen. And it's going to be the greatest ride you've ever been on. 
Some of y'all like them roller coasters and stuff, and I, I think they're fun too, but it ain't nothing like the walk of Christianity. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing like it, brethren. If you're here and you're young and you want to be saved, come get saved. If you're here in your middle, middle, middle of the road there, come get saved. If you're here and you're old, come get saved. Whoever you are, come get saved. Amen. But if you're here and you're saved, how about you just bask and shout and get happy and thank God to give you much more Amen. 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 Yeah. Brethren, it's easy. What page are we saying? 448. 448. It's easy in the time we live in to look around at all the misery and the junk and get distracted and get mad and frustrated. Why don't you just stop looking around at what he's given you since you got saved? I went with big sort of doctrinal things. The Spirit of God. The Word of God. How about you look at them little blessings? Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Do that today. He give you much more than you asked for. And I think he's worth praising for that, brethren. But I'm asking one more time, are you saved today? You know without a shadow of a doubt you died right now, you go to heaven. You know you're saved today? You know you're going to heaven? If not, I would invite you, I would ask you to come and get saved today and let God save your soul. Let Him make you a new creature this morning. Save people, you got the Spirit of God dwelling in you now, brethren. You're at the gas station, just come get, get your tank filled up. If you lost, come get your tank filled up. Let Him give you more than you ever even ask Him for. I bet my prayer for salvation wasn't, seemed like hours, but I bet it wasn't a minute, two minutes maybe, down there praying, asking the Lord to save me. And here He went. Now we are over 10 years later ahead of me, picking out things. You're going to get that, you're going to get that, you're going to get that. You're going to see your young and saved. Your wife has been has made a false profession of faith. She gets saved through the middle of that thing. Just give you this and this and this. Never even ask for it. Never come down and say, Lord, save my kid. I mean, that's one of the most selfish prayers you're ever going to have in terms of that. When you get saved, you ain't praying for nobody but yourself. Rightfully so. But I didn't say, Lord, save my young ones. Lord, save my wife. I, don't, I didn't even know she wasn't saved yet. You understand this morning what I'm preaching about. I didn't ask for none of that. And all along the way, God went ahead. It's like like Brother down had Larry Brown said, kick, kick that stuff out of the way and clear the path. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here's that, here's your blessing, here's your nugget there, here's your son else there. There's it just to keep you going. Provision for the journey. Could have preached it that whole direction this morning. He's giving me provision for the journey. Feel like I can't keep going on, can't keep going on. And I look in that purse, and there's some more provision there for the journey. Just keep you going a little bit further, and a little bit further, and a little bit further. Amen. I know I said some hard things this morning. You'll be all right. Let God fix it. Let Him fix you up. Be honest with Him. Say, Lord, I always put you on the back burner. 